the whole world is in trouble because of COVID-19 and in India we have got badly affected by the cyclonic storm Nisarga. It was the second cyclone after Amphan to strike India in within three weeks of time. Where the super cyclonic storm Amphan caused widespread damage in eastern India, this second severe cyclonic storm Nisarga was the strongest tropical cyclone to strike the western coast of India. Specifically our Raigad district in Maharashtra state aside Mumbai. I was taking it casually at first and thought that it will pass by away from our region leaving some damage to coastal area because from the coast we have protection of Sayadri mountain range resisting incoming cyclonic threat is a usual scene in the history of cyclones as we know but it left all of us the people of Raigad district and 50 to 100 kilometers of land inside from the coastal area in a very devastating situation personally we were super lucky that we had less damage to our house but all our trees in the backyard fell down it was very sad to see all this destruction trees falling roofs flying and I was running here and there to see if trees didn't get over our house and also in that situation how to keep my family members and neighbors safe Inside, I felt worried, but I stood tough during the storm. It was actually a very tough experience, still being an adventure-loving person. Just three days back, before this, on 31st of May, we survived another local storm nearby. Even that was a way more greater in speed than this cyclone in my view. But it lasted hardly for half an hour and cyclone Nisarga lasted for almost four hours with the continuous flow of cyclonic wind. It was expected to make a landfall by the speed of 100 to 120 km per hour. But later it was actually 140 km per hour in our Raigad district. Later, after more than four hours, the storm passed from our region. And we all came out to see what happened and what destruction it caused. Rooftops, electricity poles and wires, internet cables, trees, every house from our region got affected. What I have covered in this short documentary is just a small part around our house. After cyclone, we had no water for four days. We had to utilize the groundwater for fresh water purposes. But then, local authorities did a wonderful job installing generators to power up the water pumps of water supply, as well as they supplied tap water in some areas by water tankers. We had no electricity for 15 days, so we celebrated a little off-season Diwali indoors by lighting up the oil lamps, diyas and we had candlelight dinners all these days. Still, it has been almost two months, there is no electricity in many villages around. People helped MSEB 
the electricity board by volunteering but forgetting the major threat of spreading coronavirus infection which lead to increase in numbers of coronavirus cases after a month we struggle for networks and connectivity to connect back with the world and still we are struggling the flora and fauna from our region got badly affected with the cyclone some nests of the birds fell down and destroyed some birds bred earlier they survived and some started with nesting right after the cyclone favorite trees of squirrels fell down also i spotted some lizards were looking for their houses the large trees in our backyard even an chameleon came in to look for the same trees in our backyard an emerald dove also came and started wandering all the shaded patch he preferred before was not there whatever the destruction calamities we humans never stop we stand back always i worked by myself and cleaned our backyard Some of my friends also helped me by volunteering few hours for the clean up in our backyard. We tried to save the remaining trees making them stand again. We also transplanted some remaining trees in our backyard. The way we stood up nature also healed itself trees already started regrowing and we will be also planting some new trees with a proper plan keeping safe distance from our house I also thought the cyclone destroyed whole forested land in our region as I observed such massive destruction just around our house but then after some days when i went to see around what i saw was a total different scenario it was wonder that all the forest land around was in good condition very few trees were affected by the cyclone in the wild on an average i observed the destruction happened where the trees were planted all the planted trees got badly affected but naturally grown trees in the wild weren't affected that much and the affected ones healed very fast more damage happened in pockets but not everywhere so what i observed that the nature heals itself very fast but it left us all the human beings affected so badly and our houses people are still struggling to come out of it Many are already financially broken due to lockdowns of COVID-19 and now this cyclone took everything from them. Maharashtra state government has helped people and still helping. The process is going on. After more than 1 month of cyclone in our region, we saw dramatically rising numbers of COVID-19 cases. and the government is locking people indoors with more lockdowns but i guess we need to learn something from this cyclone the cyclone left a great message for us even after it left us devastated we stood up and now we are getting back to our normal lives this threat of covid-19 is also like a cyclone 
it will cause destruction but will pass by leaving scars of some sorts and we will be the same as we were before the society will heal with time time heals everything we just need some more patience